Rank the following isomeric alkenes in order from least stable to most stable. Um, so isomeric just tells us that they all have the same molecular formula. So this allows us to kind of directly compare them. And so what we're looking for is how they're connected together differently. Um, so they do all, as we said, have the same molecular formula. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are all C6H12. And so you can check that. Um, but so that's what we mean by isomeric, okay? Um, so the least stable alkenes are the least substituted alkenes. And so that means they have the least amount of bonds to carbon. So those are the least substituted alkenes. And the most stable would be the most substituted. And so to put these in order, we're going to have to first kind of classify what all of these alkenes are. So if we look at the first one, so here are alkene carbons, and we're looking for bonds to carbon, and there's only one. So that means this first alkene is monosubstituted. And then if we look at the second one, here's our alkene carbons, and we see that we have one, two bonds to carbon. So this is disubstituted. And so there's a few different patterns we could have with disubstituted alkenes. So they could be cis, trans, or located at the end of the chain. And this one here, we can draw in the hydrogens that are implied. It should make it easier to see this. This is trans, which of your disubstituted alkenes is the most stable arrangement because we've got things spread out. Um, so that decreases the steric hindrance. And then if we look at this third alkene, Let's again highlight our alkene carbons, and we're counting substitution, we're counting bonds to carbons. So we see one, two, three. So this is tri substituted. And then finally, if we look at four, we've got one, two, those are alkene carbons, and we see one, two bonds to carbon. So this is di substituted. And so we need to be able to compare this with our other di substituted alkene. This one was trans. So we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to draw in the hydrogens that are implied. And this is cis. So this is, you've got more steric crowding. These carbon groups are closer to each other. So your cis disubstituted alkene is less stable than your trans. And so we're asked to put these in order from least to most. So the least substituted is this monosubstituted number one. So that would be less stable than, so we go from monosubstituted, we have di. The cis di substituted is less stable than the trans, so we will put that next. And then our trans di substituted alkene. And then finally, the most stable is that tri substituted alkene three. So this is B.